hysteresis that you see in a lot of other systems just drives the controls guys crazy. A normal hysteresis curve is kind of has an S, S profile, mm -hmm. you know, around the, the zero area that's, you know, the, the gradient is very high and then all of a sudden it becomes a lot stiffer towards the end yeah. uh, because of that change in hysteresis inside of the drive. For us, it's very different. It's a straight line. Mm -hmm. Because our contact mechanism is the same across the whole torque spectrum. And I've learned myself over the years, like some of the prizes you get, you, you get a robot and you want it to draw a circle and you go down there and it draws an ellipse. You're like, oh, wait a minute. I, I programmed it to draw a circle. And, and why is that? Because if I've got a pen on, on my robot industrial arm, a lot of this movement is being done with the first axis right here. So like it's, it's going back or this way. So I start here, I move over to there. Now I have to change direction to come back. At the moment you change direction, suddenly you get that backlash where it takes a fraction of the movement of the bot to be able to engage and go in the opposite direction. As soon as you try to reverse direction, it won't reverse direction. It keeps going. So what happens to my circle? And the ellipse. <laughs> and, the ellipse. <laughs> and this is the bane of all the big robots and everything is trying to eliminate that to get the precision. Yeah. And so as soon as you get rid of that, it's like, ah. Oh, this will make the movement and everything a lot easier. So that's that's like a brief history of hysteresis and why it could be a problem. And backlash.